friends. How do we, uh, we have another gift for you today? It's from AMP Models. 148 scale. It's the Dragonfly HC2. It's a helicopter. Um, I believe the aircraft was around for the Americans at the Vietnam time. Um, the British used it for transporting the wounded. Um, so it's a medivac helicopter. Um, it's, unfortunately, this kit only contains a British one. Um, I've never heard of AMP models. Um, it's made in Ukraine. Um, it's a little bit expensive kit. It's a £30 model um, for what it is. That's what I paid um, from a local hobby shop. Um, kit number 48003 um, a little bit of information on English and Ukraine get your instructions piece of bag with your plastic in it with clear heart the bag of all your screws you get a little bit of decals some photo etch some masks so you get pretty much everything in the kit so it's ready to go straight away let's take a look at the uh, photo etch and decals and stuff get a little bit of laser print mask not quite sure what that is until we look in the instructions but it's got some stripes on it maybe for the windows you get a clear piece which has got your instrument panels on it to go behind the photo etch um, Here's your photo etch. It's a little bit thick than most of the photo etch I've used before. Um, so it should go down reasonably well still, but as I say, it's a little bit thicker than I'm not normally used to. There's some more masks for the windows. And a little bit of decals, which is just the roundels. Seal number of the helicopter, WF311. Get one bag of all the screws inside. Uh, this this piece here contains one of the uh, propellers and the stretcher sections for evacuation to the wounded. Second piece again. Two more propellers, it's a uh, three bladed prop propeller helicopter, you get another stretcher piece. The um, panel lines are really really good, there is, I have to move that box first which I want to focus on, you get uh, panel lines, uh, some rivets in some places. You get this piece here, it's got some wings, structural parts, these pieces look like to do with the rotor system. It's like a, uh, the chin piece of the helicopter, it's got some rivets and panel lines on it, some wheels, some doors, and that looks like the uh, bottom of the helicopter, the floor. Some more wheels, some more doors with grates on it. It's a small helicopter, it's not very big at all. The sprue here contains all your fine detail parts, your back rotor, piping, 
more rotor section for the upper rotor part uh, tail wheel because it's the uh, the wheel is a tail dragger helicopter it hasn't got no skids it's all done with wheels this is your main fuselage of the helicopter very small chopper looks like the cockpit floor or the base of the helicopter yeah that's the cockpit floor for sure instrument panel got nothing on it but as i say you get photo etch so we are replacing the uh, actual helicopter itself panel lines and rivets the um panel lines are recessed but the rivets are raised so it's a mixture um and these grates are raised so it's a mixture of raised and rivet raised and recessed bit of a hybrid so there you go guys that's the uh plastic parts you get this bag of clear nicely wrapped up and protected it's bag in a bag you get these window pieces go over the stretcher parts a little bit scuffed but a little bit of solution um, sort this out some more um, stretch of windows, side windows for the uh, hel uh, helicopter. Um, it's not the best clear part, so I've worked with a lot better, but I believe this is a little bit of an older kit. It's not, not fairly new. Um, you do get, strangely, a little bit of resin in this bag uh, for the rotor system. Some more windows, doors, um, uh, and some lights. I'm going to move the camera, guys, to a better position for the manual. You get uh, information on the helicopter in Ukraine and English. Um, Symbols for what parts mean what. You get your colours down the bottom. Unfortunately, they missed out what colours are what inside the helicopter. I right, I'll show you what I mean. There's your all your sprues. So and and this is where you work on building the kit. So you start with your seats and cockpit. But you notice there's no way of telling you what colour the, the pieces need to be painted. So I had to do reference photos. And I found some helicopters with dark grey interior, some have got a light grey interior, and some have had like a green. So um, I found Americans use dark grey, and the British use dark grey and light grey. And I found there's a green one, which was I think was Ukraine and Spanish, I think something like that. They and they had some green interior ones. So I'm going to use a uh, dark grey interior. You start with uh, putting the windows together, masking them up, sandwiching the fuselage half around the, the cockpit, rotary system going in, wheels and the front glass going in over your cockpit, tail rotor going on, wings and supports, more wheels. Rotary system all going together, mixture of PE, plastic and that tiny bit of resin you get. Putting your rotors on, you have to have them in open position, you can't have them installed. Putting on the uh, strut, um, stretcher pods for evacuation, putting on your canopy uh, masks. And there's your colour cord, like again, like it shows you the colours, but it doesn't actually tell you. So, what I've worked out for the British one, it's RF dark green and RF uh, extra dark sea grey, I believe they're the two colours. So 
So there you go guys. It's a little helicopter. 148 scale. AMP models from Ukraine. Dragonfly HC2. Evacuation helicopter for the wounded. Laders, and I'll catch you next time.